Okay, everybody, let's take an interesting trip back in time. Let's visit the pre-fight buildup to Jeffries Johnson. Now, I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this fight. It happened on July 4th, 1910, okay? Now, this is Wikipedia, what they put on the fight, okay? It says here, since Johnson was African-American and Jeffries was white, the competition took on major racial overtones. The press dubbed Jeffries the Great White Hope, okay? So we know about all of that, but we don't know about some of the inside info. And that's what I'm gonna take you back to now, okay? Let's take a look back at February 6, 1910, the Helena Independent. So all fight fans are gearing up for this big fight between Jeffries and Johnson. The media back then was only the newspaper. Okay, there was nothing else other than the newspaper. These are the type of articles that was showing up, okay? Now, I want you to hear what Jeffries had to say about Johnson here, okay? We're going to look at this here. Come back, come back. I'm back right now. I tell you, I never was as strong or so fast as I am this minute. Now, this is Jeffries talking here. And I just want to say that there's just one possible finish to that fight. And that is, I'm going to win. And I'm going to win in a hurry. There's been a lot of slush in the Eastern papers that we've fixed up an agreement. So he goes on about some other stuff. Then he goes on to say, I'm going after that coon from first tap of the gong. Okay. He goes on to say, there's only one thing I don't like about this fight. And that is that I'm afraid it's going to be a rotten match. I really don't believe that Johnson is going to fight back at me. I think he's a yellow cowardly skunk and I think he's afraid of me. Johnson knows that I'm the best fighter in the world and he knows that I'm as good today as I ever was. Why? Do you know Bob Armstrong, who is a clever nigger boxer, is a better man than Johnson and I think that he can beat Johnson to death today. Armstrong was in Johnson's camp and Johnson was afraid of him as a sparring partner. Armstrong quit Johnson in disgust and came to me and he said, Jeff, Jack Johnson is a yellow dog and I won't work with him anymore. He won't do his work, he's lazy and I don't want any more of him. Armstrong is with me now and I'm going to send him down to California where he will be one of my sparring partners. This is the way Jeffries was talking about Johnson, okay? They, they don't promote this too much, okay? They don't promote this kind of stuff. There's more stuff, too, that I'm going to bring to y'all. Maybe at another time. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. But um, apparently, this fighter here, and we'll look him up. His name's Bob Armstrong. He was a sparring partner to Jack Johnson. He went to um, Jeffries and told him that Jack Johnson was a coward and gave away some of his um secrets and training and all kind of stuff okay and you better believe man there was a lot of nasty things being said during the build up to johnson jeffries that's why i'm saying you know um i'm trying to figure out when race and boxing wasn't related i mean when, when did this it's always been this way okay it's always been this way you have to understand what boxing was built off of you have to understand that, okay? It wasn't just about betting money. It was a lot more than that. And if you ignore it, you're just not accepting the truth for what it is, man. Point blank, period. I'm out.